YouTube! Hello. Today, we will be doing something I have never, ever, ever wanted to do ever in my entire fucking life, but we're gonna fucking do it. Today, we are going to be going through Apex comp Reddit posts about my boyfriend, Zachary Mazer. <laughs> I can hear- Zach, shut up! This will be interesting. 100% because Zach gets a Zach gets a lot of love on uh, on Reddit. So <laughs> I've never gone on Reddit ever before, so I am fucking scared. I'm copying and pasting in a link that my beautiful editor Wolfies has sent me. So <laughs> let's see. I'm oh fuck. Why am I so nervous? <laughs> okay, I'm fucking nervous. Here we go. One. Let's look at his uh. Let's look at his uh Reddit page. There's just no absolute way that he has this as his profile picture <laughs> oh my god that is probably one of my top favorite meme pictures of zach of all time i literally have my sub to lou on auto renew just solely for the fact that i could have this emote <laughs> okay this guy comments on this on this reddit post and says not gonna lie i would be honored if a pro would remember me for my takes on this sub add zach and goes in before zach mazer to call me jealous again <laughs> and zach Zach responds and says, no, you just need real life help, man. Best of luck again. <laughs> there is beef here. They know each other. They know each other very well on Reddit. <laughs> All right. So this, this Reddit post says, is there any worse ego in the game than Mazer? And there are 59 comments on this one. And why is the answer? No. He truly thinks he's, his shit don't stink and casts blames on everyone. Even when his coach and teammates tell him he's wrong, he talks to them like shit genuinely don't see C9 ever having sustained success unless he's off the team. The first comment, he ash portaled into the gas and died game two. That, that did happen. Definitely did happen. <laughs> No way! No! <laughs> okay. I saw Zach Mazer at the grocery store in Austin yesterday. That alone just kills me because this man does not leave his house, let alone goes to the grocery store. This guy, I don't even know this guy knows what groceries are. I told him how cool it was to meet him in person, but I didn't want to be a douche and bother him and ask him for photos or anything. When I came to pay for my stuff up front, I saw him trying to walk out the doors with like 15 Milky Way bars in his hands without paying. The girl at the counter was very nice about it and professionally was like, sir, you need to pay for those first. When she took one of the bars and started scanning multiple times, he stopped her and told her to scan them each individually to prevent any electrical interference. After she scanned each bar and put them in the bag, started to say the price, he kept interrupting her by yawning really loudly. <laughs> what the fuck did I just read? <laughs> Apparently this is a copy pasta. That would just make a lot of sense. And I think I'm just gonna start spamming this in his chat. <laughs> I don't know why the first sentence alone just kills me. <laughs> oh, I know this copy pasta. I think it's hilarious you kids talking shit about Zach Mazer. You wouldn't say this shit to him at land. He's jacked. Not only that, but wears the freshest clothes, eats at the chillest restaurants, and hangs out with the hottest dudes. I saw him at 7-Eleven the other day, okay? And he was buying adult diapers. I asked him what the diapers were for, and he said they help contain my full power so I don't completely shit on these kids. <laughs> and then he t and then he tapped straight <laughs> And then he tapped straight out the door. What? What the fuck is that? Hold on. Oh my god, I'm keeping that for my own records. I listen to maybe the same amount of comms as C9 as you, but I don't feel any ego coming from Mazer. Just a few stupid plays and callouts. But that's in-game fighting ego. It's pretty spread out. I mean, like, bro, you're in, you're in a fucking crazy-ass tournament and you fucking won... 50 a motherfucker, you're like, Ugh! you know what I'm saying? Overall, though, I feel like C9's current setup, they seem to at least communicate fine enough. No harsh fighting. It's still hashtag justice for knock. Though. <laughs> Do I think it's true? Nope. I just think C9 just needed their time to fucking find their groove and figure out what the fuck they were going to do. I think now they definitely figured that out and obviously they've been they've been going crazy. Zach seems like a good dude. He's just a dumbass. That is true. But we love our dumbass, okay? <laughs> Naughty's God Gibby calls. Oh god. I want to forget Naughty on Gibby, please. He's a good guy and an idiot. Yep, yeah, that is exactly what I told my mom. <laughs> I said hi. So I like this guy, okay? Um 
probably going to bring him home next time. He's a really good guy, but he's kind of an idiot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> him and Alba are just very rude to each other in a friendly way. Alba and Zach have been friends for so long. They can just shit talk each other. Sometimes, I kid you not, I will be sitting upstairs and I will be like watching the tournaments or something. And Zach and Al will get in like a screaming match battle with each other. And I'm like sitting in bed full force, like freaking the fuck out. Like I'm like, I'm like Jazzy, that's Al's girlfriend. I'm like, Jazzy, what are we going to do? And Jazzy's like, Clara, relax. They do this all the time. They're good. And she's right. Oh God. Okay. And now we have Mr. Zachary Mazer coming in with the comments. <laughs> He says, listen, I give you every reason in the world to hate me. However, ego, question mark, broski? <laughs> I'm a dick and so many other things, but I don't have a ridiculous ego. Your screw up in game, five Ash ult pushing into arena with no comms while your team was doing something completely different. But instead of understanding your team and your own coach perspective, you continue to bash your team for their mistakes. Okay, going into this, I knew you didn't like me, but I didn't think you were going, you were straight up delusional. Best of luck, sir. <laughs> oh my God. I like this guy. Uh, sir, sir, he he hates you because he has a man crush on you. <laughs> it was so cute. He just wrote a whole ass essay about you. I'm jealous. Honestly, facts. I wish someone would write an essay about me too. What the heck? Sucks I can't watch Albert Lele as much as I did when he was on TSM now because I just hear Zach bitching and complaining in the background. Tell us you don't watch Zach without telling us you don't watch Zach. Period. That was a good, that was a good thread. That was a very good thread. Oh God. Oh god, okay. I did not read any of this, but I heard a lot about this. Can we talk about teams, players leaving mid-tournament and how none of the pros are calling it out? Oh, homie, they all call it out. Here we go. Okay, this had to have been made by like a Reddit person. Why, why are they talking like they're the pro? Does Reddit think that they're... I don't know. Well, okay. All right, so Zachary made a post and said, It really isn't a big deal. That's why no one cares. Stop trying so hard. <laughs> Oh, he comments on all of the- Okay. Okay, here we go. This is a- this is a juicer. To be honest, I don't even know if you really know what working is. I have watched your streams multiple times. You just come online when you feel like it and your attitude is really bad about it as well. Basically, your life has been hashtag blessed. <laughs> you should realize that before you come here and tell people that tournaments from below a certain prize money, quote, don't care. Zachary responds with, I stream because I can and some people want to watch me. Not for a living. So yes, I get on when I want. I'm pretty lucky. My work ethic is better than anyone you know in esports. Honestly, that is extremely true. That is uh, honestly like one of my favorite things about Zach is his work ethic. I talk about it with him all the time. You guys may not see it because he doesn't stream often or consistent, but this man sits on his PC all fucking day and he is in Discord either with his team or with PVP. Talking out strats, talking, figuring shit out. They are always fucking working. PVP is the hardest working person on, on C9. Other than him, it would be Zach. My family does not quote unquote have money. I have never received a dollar from my family ever. I left my house at 14, that's true. And I live the life I earn because I outwork the losers like yourself. On top of that, this entire Reddit, let alone this post, is literally meant for pros to interact so you can learn more how some of us think. I'm sorry that you're jealous or mad for whatever's going on in your life that you feel need to say this, man. Best of luck. Pro players actively supporting being a shitty teammate. This is a screenshot from Inhuman. <laughs> I and human. This casual Apex player is throwing a fit because someone left their pub game early it will never not be funny. Zach, for some reason, commented on that and said, clickbait this harder so pro players look even worse. Okay, so this next post is TSM versus C9 3v3 during ESA. On me, er I got one, I got one, I got one, I got one. Down that Wait, one. Wait, still Scan what you can. Uh, 57 on Valve. Money, money. He's one, he's one. I got you, I got you. Get it, don't go down, don't go down. Fuck out of here, bro. Who the fuck are you pushing? You just destroyed them, dude. So they're on Valk now. C9 plays Valk. No Bloodhound. First time he goes, hashtag justice for Nog. This guy says, what was Zach thinking? Matter of fact, I don't think he was. We were out damaging them a lot. Snipe got shit on. So I figured Hal would group with his team instead of holding the side angle. Had I went from the other side and W kid snipe and reps, Hal wouldn't even have had an angle. So I figured Hal wouldn't play there. With or without him, I'm gonna get one clip there. <laughs> yeah. After after Zach explains himself, this guy goes, when you put it like that, actually brain dead. <laughs> yeah. Fuck C9. All my homies hate C9. Hal's thoughts on NA scrims ending early due to teams quitting. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So they're just they're just discussing here, okay? And then Zach felt the need to chime in and said they can't do this because the scrim quality would just be so bad, unplayable, whatever. And this guy goes, my number one Ash, W profile pick, W man. W sense of humor. C9, we want to play edge because we're such a strong fighting team. Also C9, quits when contested. <laughs> All Zach has to say is, you are impressive. <laughs> Kobe, Kobe. Sorry, Kobe was crying in his sleep. I hate when he does that. When he does like the little whimpers in his sleep, my heart can't take it. Oh God. <laughs> Wolfies, you did not have to do this. Knocked give his side of the story and answers questions. Nah, one thing I, chat, let's make this clear. One thing I don't want is like you guys going to like Zach and Naughty's stream and like hating on them because it's a bad like representation of me. And I mean, you guys know me, like I'm- They still love I'm you to like death. That. Like, They're still I gonna do really it. I don't really care for the Which drama. They did. So Knocked please is such don't a do sweetheart, that. stop. There's no point in me, you know, starting a bunch of drama and making a big deal about it. First things first, I just want to say that I absolutely love Noct. I have known Noct since he played on uh, Xbox, streaming on Xbox. I used to watch him all the time. I like lived in his chat when I was playing on console and stuff like that. All right, so this comment says, I had to get some random guy who doesn't even play... <laughs> okay, wait, that's funny. Random guy who doesn't even play com just shares the org to share their decision with him. Zach commented, LMFAO. Every comment you make here is just making you more unlikable. Get over yourself, man. And Zach says, my job isn't to make sure that the competitive Reddit likes me. The vast majority of you guys absolutely hate me and that's fine. Here's a little hard again. <laughs> Slash scariest team in NA. And he said, Sentinels C9 G2. This guy goes, I'm not a fan of yours. I don't even watch your streams to be honest, but it's crazy how much hate you get. LOL, bro. I don't know how you do it. Keep your head up, man. <laughs> Aw, that was a wholesome one. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, all the good shit. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited for all the new content we're about to put out. This is just the beginning. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good one. Peace. Outro in one take. Watch this. <laughs>